today, and today we're going to have a game of Mikey on the Acorn BBC Micro. Yes, the Acorn BBC Micro got a version of Mikey. Now, it'll be interesting to see how this plays. Right, so here's the keys. Um, right, so space to continue, return. Right, space to continue. Right, we know what, how to play it. I, I originally played this back in the day on my friend's Commodore 64. Right, so familiar myself with the keys again. Fucking hell. Oh, I'll we'll push return. So what we've got to do is collect all the arts and it spells a word. And we can get out of the off this level and out of this classroom. So so there's two more hearts to get. And you've got to avoid the teacher. Ah oh, fucking hell. Even though he sits down, you can still throw his false teeth at you. Okay now, oh! Gotta avoid him! Oh, fuck it out! Oh. There he goes, you. Oh, fuck hell! Gee! No, he's gonna head me off! No! Sit! Ah, oh, fuck's sake! Hang on. Ah, okay. Alright, two more to get. No, come on! Oh. Right, so it... <laughs> this version plays better than the CPC version. Sit down. And you get in-game in music in this version. Unlike the CPC version. And this version plays better than the CPC version. Shit. No. Ah, shit. So you got to avoid the T... Ah, oh, shit. Where this heart, you got a oh, shit. It's fucking difficult. Now he's gonna have me off. So the AI in this. Sit down. Right. Get to the door. Get to the door. Get to the door. Right. Made it to the door. So open. Go in. So now it, you're in the locker room. Now will the music change or... Now the music hasn't changed but it's the higher pitch. Ah! Fucking game over. And you get to type in your name in this version. Excellent! Well that definitely warrants another go. Definitely. At least I made it off the first level on this. So this version is a lot more enjoyable to play than the CPC version. So far, out of all the 8-bit versions I played, that was definitely the worst. Might look nice, col nice colourful graphics, but if it don't play very well, that all that means nothing. So it's pretty impressive what they've got out of a 32k machine. And you still got in-game music. Right, where's that heart? Last heart's back here. Fuck off! Bloody hell. Ah, oh, fuck it!
Yes, yeah, so the graphics are okay. Playability's fine. Sit down. Right now we can get leave. Leave the leave the classroom. Right. Okay. I always struggled on the lock a bit with it. We even back in the day on the Commodore 64. Oh fuck's sake! Cheap loot. Life to lose. Right. What happened? Hang on, I was pushing towards it. Right, I'll have one more go at that. Yeah, so definitely would say the BBC version is playable, very playable. Come on, sit down. Fucking hell, that was close. Sit down. Oh, now I can get out. Well, all right, so, okay, let's see if we can not lose a life. Oh, fucking hell. Got on my, oh, what? This is, oh, that's unbelievable. That's fucking unbelievable. I can't believe I fucked that up. You got to also take in consideration you can't move side. You can only move up, down, left, and right. You can't move in diagonal um, motion, and I don't think you can on any of the versions. I can't remember too much about the Commodore 64 version. I did review that, but that was a long time ago. I can't remember if you can move in diagonal directions on that version. Certainly couldn't with the CPC and Spectrum versions. Right. Yeah, the BBC version is it's pretty good. It's not as good as the Commodore 64 version, obviously, but it is certainly playable. It's definitely playable, um, and I would definitely go to say it's much better than the CPC version to play. If you've got a BBC Micro, you definitely got a, a playable version of Mikey. Anyway, going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.